Hi, my name is Kelly Figueroa. I work for Tableau as a supportability engineer, and I specialize in licensing. I'd like to spend a few minutes today talking about how to activate Tableau Desktop and Tableau Prep Builder. We're also going to talk about the different types of product keys that are available. If you're new to Tableau, or you just like to follow along, simply open Tableau Desktop or Tableau Prep Builder, select Help, and then Manage Product Keys. This window, Manage Product Keys, we're going to reference quite a bit in this video. And for a quick review, since product keys have changed quite a bit over time, um, we're going to discuss the different types of keys available and where they should be activated. So if your product key starts with TC for Creator, that needs to be activated on Tableau Desktop or Tableau Prep Builder. It's not to be activated on Tableau Server, even though it has the word Creator in it. TD is for Tableau Desktop only, and these are the older style keys that we have issued um, in past years. TP for Tableau Prep Builder, um, these keys have expired and are no longer available. And then of course, if you have a Tableau Server key, it will start with the letters TS. Now in Manage Product Keys, I have two line items here, and that's not typical. You'll just usually have one item here, but I have two just for comparison purposes. One of the type of keys that's the most popular that we sell currently is the subscription or term key. It has an expiration date, and you can see that by the license expires column. When this license exp expiration date hits, the product will stop working. These keys will typically start with TC or TD. Now, if you have one of our older style um, legacy keys, which have a perpetual use, that means there's no expiration date, and you'll see the word permanent in the expiration column. The product will not stop working when this maintenance expiration hits, and you'll see a date in that column. What will happen is if you're running one of these perpetual legacy keys and your maintenance expiration date has passed, will not be able to upgrade the product, but the product will continue to run. And if you're one of our lucky customers using our new login-based license management, there are no product keys. Tableau Server or Tableau Online allows you to log in and in Manage Product Keys, you'll see the word Creator. You need to have the Creator role or Tableau Server or Tableau Online enabled to use this feature and if you have Tableau Server um, installed at your company, then you'll also need to set the LBLM feature on. Here is a quick overview of the product key types and the prefix starting and a little bit about the activation methods for reference. Let's talk about the activation options when you open a screen for the first time. You can start the trial, which lasts for 14 days. You can only start the trial once, so if that option um, is not available, it's because the trial has already ended. You can activate with a product key if your company is still using product keys. And of course, the last item says activate by signing into a server. This is our login-based license management option where you sign into Tableau Server or Tableau Online in order to activate the product. Tableau Server, of course, as I said earlier, needs to be configured to use login-based license management, and you'll want to talk to either your server administrator or your Tableau account manager to make sure that this happens. Where do I find my product key? Well, we find our product keys in the Tableau customer portal. There are two types of users. If you're just the end user, you would go into the Tableau customer portal, and here's the URL here, and you will see a key that's been assigned to you. If you're a portal administrator, then you'll be able to see all the keys associated with your company in the specific portal account. If login-based license management is being used and there are no product keys, which is the future state of Tableau, then there will be no product keys for desktop or prep. Now, if you're a student or a teacher using our free offering for one year, there is no Tableau customer portal. Your keys are assigned to you via email. And if you have any trouble getting this email or finding the keys from our student and teacher program, you'll want to email 
tft at tableau.com and they'll be able to assist you. I want to show you the customer portal and the view that an administrator would see. As you notice, there are all kinds of keys in here, which is typical for a large company. You'll see the new creator style keys for desktop. You'll see the old desktop professional style keys that start with TD. And then following that are the server keys starting with TS. If you are the sole, the sole user and not an administrator, you will just see the key assigned to you if keys are being used. If you don't have access to the Tableau customer portal, contact your internal IT team. There should be a portal administrator who can add you to the Tableau customer portal and even make you an administrator if that's your desire. In the Tableau customer portal, in this same view, if I scroll over to the right, is a very important column called the period end date column. This column is really important when we talk about refreshing your product key. So always take a look at this period end date before attempting to refresh a key. And we're going to talk about that right now. So if you received another year of use on your subscription key and the subscription key has not expired, you can refresh the key in that Manage Product Keys window. If your subscription key has expired, you will not get the ability to refresh, but you'll have to activate the new key that's showing in the Tableau Customer Portal that's been assigned to you. And of course, if you're using one of the old legacy perpetual keys, you wanna to go to the Tableau Customer Portal and verify that maintenance end date does indeed have additional time. If it does have additional time, then you can always refresh your legacy perpetual key. So remember, if you have a subscription key and it's expired, you have to activate the new key. If you're using a perpetual key, you can always refresh. But be, be cautious that there is a date to refresh to. So viewing the Tableau customer portal is very important. There is a problem that sometimes can occur that I've noted here. Sometimes if you're using a subscription key and you've refreshed it, so it hasn't expired yet, the Tableau customer portal will show a key that does not match your managed product keys. What's the most important to note is that if you're in Tableau Desktop or Prep Builder and you've refreshed your subscription key, that, that expiration date after the refresh will have moved to a higher value that matches the Tableau customer portal. The product key itself will not change until that date has been hit. A little bit of confusion there, and I do have a blog about this behavior that I'll reference later in the video. And of course, if you're using login-based license management and you're a creator and there are no product keys, you do not need to refresh at all. That's one of the great benefits of login-based license management. All the refreshing is done in the background for you. So here's those resources I talked about. Um, if you're having some confusion about why the product key in Manage Product Keys doesn't match the key that's in the Tableau Customer Portal, this community blog um, called Understanding Product Behavior When Updating a Tableau Product Key will be helpful to you. So just remember, when you're refreshing product keys, it's that expiration date that matters. If that has moved and matches the portal, then you're good to go. There's also some really great knowledge base articles available on managing keys. Um, there's also great product help on maintaining licenses. So please take advantage of some of this great um, additional help and articles. And I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks for using Tableau and good luck activating and using your product.